the choice facing Parliament, the choice facing Labour, is now whether to accept that deal or to reject it. The deal is a thin agreement. It does not provide adequate protections for British manufacturing, our financial services, creative industries or workplace rights. It is not the deal that the government promised. Far from it. And there are serious questions about the government's preparedness for the new arrangements. As ever, leaving everything to the last minute has made it even more difficult for businesses to be ready. A better deal could have been negotiated. But I accept that that option, that option has now gone. The chance for renegotiation is over. There are just two paths now left for our country. To move forward with a deal or without one. No deal is simply not an option. The social, economic and political consequences would be devastating. Jobs would be put at risk. Businesses would collapse. Investment would dry up. Our national security would be threatened. The disruption that we've seen at the port of Dover in recent days would be the tip of the iceberg. And the cumulative effect on top of the worst recession of any major economy would be unimaginable. Labour is against no deal. Firmly and absolutely. And the British people would never forgive us if we enabled a no-deal outcome. There are some that argue that Labour should be neutral on this issue, to abstain. I do not agree. Leadership is about taking the tough decisions in the national interest. It's about being a serious, responsible opposition, a government-in-waiting. This is the deal that Labour will inherit in 2024. It's something we will build on compared to the chaos of no deal. The public would expect a Labour government to make it work. And the EU would expect us to make it work and to use it to protect our shared interests, including, of course, the peace process in Northern Ireland. At a moment of such national significance, it is just not credible for Labour to be on the sidelines. And that's why I can say today that when this deal comes before Parliament, Labour will accept it and vote for it.